my name is Carl Deans, and we'll be talking today about time management from a biblical perspective. A lot of people today have a sense or a feeling that time is getting scarcer and scarcer. In fact, there's a whole industry that's been revolved around uh, building time management techniques, not only for personal use, but also for organizations. And uh, I think an appropriate place to start a film like that, uh, like this, is in a graveyard. For these people, time has uh, ceased to exist. The Bible has a lot to say about time. In Psalms chapter 90, verse, verses 10 through 12, the Bible says, The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And certainly, uh, our days uh, are 24 hours in length. Everybody's given the same amount of hours per day, but not everybody's given the same amount of days. So we need to use our time wisely. So for the rest of this tape, we're going to be discussing not only God's perspective on time, but some personal things that you can do in order to help you with your time management. Let's go ahead and get started on our time management video. First thing we ought to do when we talk about time management is define what time is. And uh, philosophers and theologians throughout the ages have been trying to define what time is. God really defined time for us as human beings. He's the one that created it. In the beginning, Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Um, God has no beginning or ending. When you look at uh, God in respect to time, he's in eternity. So he doesn't look at time the same way that we do. We think of times in terms of 100 years, maybe 1,000 years, whereas God um, is in eternity, and he thinks probably in terms of millions and billions of years. He doesn't have any trouble with time. And as a result, God takes many, many years to accomplish his purposes, sometimes thousands of years. And a man, on the other hand, tries to get things done Especially in Western civilization, we try to get things done in less than a half hour. God is patient. We at times get very impatient. And uh, as a result, we are seeking ways to use our time better. Now, the definition of time, according to uh, Noah Webster in the, his 1812 dictionary, uh, he says, life, well, time is life or duration in reference to occupation. One man spends his time in idleness, another devotes all his time to useful purposes. And the key point there in that definition that I saw was that time is life, life or duration. Now time is invisible, uh, we can't store it, we can't put it in a bottle, we can't give it to somebody else, they can't give it to us. Um, we can't change time uh, in the present world we live in. However, we can perceive time, time can go faster or time can get go slower. For example, uh, if you're waiting for something you really want, time seems to go so slow. Um, but if we're under a deadline, time seems to go by very fast. We just don't have enough time to accomplish our things. So basically, if we looked at time, we would have to say that time is life. And we need to manage that life the best way that we know. Now let's talk about time management. Now management is the process by where we allocate resources to be used most effectively. Um, good managers are the ones that can do that. They can manage people, things. Now managing time, again, since time is invisible, it's not really a commodity, but people talk about management of time. Really, time management is life management, how we run our lives. That's what time management is. Now good time management can uh, can focus us, can give us proper balance in our lives, can reduce stress, can make us more fruitful Christians. Um, there's a lot of books out on time management. In fact, the whole industry has been built around time management. Uh, there's one by Richard N. Bowles called Three Boxes of Life. Remember we talked about life being time. Can you get a close-up on that? Uh, 
Sarah. Um, the Time Trap by Alec McKenzie. He's kind of a world famous uh, author and uh, speaker on time management. Here's another one by him, The Time Trap. A lot of these books you can find in your local library. 90 Minute Hour by J. Conrad Ludz. Here's a man that thinks you can uh, get 60 or 90 minutes out of a 60 minute time block. Here's a real popular fellow right now, Steve, Stephen R. Covey. Um, he devotes uh, a whole book here basically to life management, which again is time management. Busy Bodies by Lee Burns. Why our time obsessed society keeps us running in place is an interesting view of our society and why it's collapsing based on this pressing time. Time for Success, again, by Alec McKenzie. Um, here's one. Seven-day speed reading and learning program. So you only need to need to, uh, you can learn speed reading and learn how to learn in seven days. So this is, you know, you don't want to take more than a week. But there's a whole industry built on uh, every book, almost every book that you read has to do with uh, time management or life management. 